Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Jordan Johnson, stepping in for Chef John, who was sadly mauled by a bear. But enough of that. Today is After Hours, and right now we're sending it over to our hosts, Jody Flanagan and Chef Greg Muller. of Chef John right now. So 30 seconds of silence. Everybody out there, no comments. Just be quiet for 30 seconds in remembrance of Chef John. Why? Why, man? Gosh. For whom the bell tolls. <sighs> for, those that, for those of you that don't know, we have lost Chef John for the week. Fortunately, he will not be with us any longer for the rest of the week. Um, so we are, you know, we were remiss. We were missed. We were missed. So uh, shout out Chef John, you know. Rest Fell down the mountain. R.I.P., you know. Hold it down, pimp. Hold it down. <sighs> Brother from the mother, right there. That's for you, Chef John. <laughs> looking down on us, saying, It's a waste of good beer, man. Mahalo. Mahalo. You can't be looking down when you're always looking up. Am That's I right? right? Am I right? All right, everybody. This is Wednesday. <laughs> this is after hours. It's where we cook a meal from start to finish, beginning to end, front to back, left to right. We do it all the way through and show you step by step how you can knock it out of the park as well. I am your barbecue dad, as well as rec tech expert Jody Flanagan. With me as always, Chef Greg Muller, your director of culinary innovation. And I can't say Chef John of the ones and twos because <sighs> no, they no still longer. haven't can't recovered. Say it anymore. They still haven't recovered all pieces of the body. No, um, but they we found got his rectum. But we, got found his rectum. but we got Jordan Johnson on the ones and twos, <laughs> typically our Twitter aficionado. Twitter expert. But official. He's, he's, he's getting by in the ones and twos. That's official. right. That's Thank right. you so much, Jordan, for joining us today and, and picking up the, the much, uh, the very heavy slack. You know, he doesn't have very big shoes to fill. He does not. No. 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 Easy peasy. Now, guys, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, Jordan will ask us any questions. That you put in the comment section, yep. of course, you know. But he's only going to ask you, us Sherpa. questions that he knows the answers to. Absolutely, and if the, question, if the answer of the question is no, he's not going to ask that, okay? Because that's negative. We don't want any no's here. We want yeses. But, but if you guys want to throw some negativity in the comments down oh, below, we love it. Go right love it. Just do it. All you keyboard warriors, put it down below. Put it down below. Oh, you're not a real chef. Oh, look at that fat kid. <laughs> yeah, we, we listen to it all the time. We read it all the time, <laughs> and it's amazing. Thank you guys so much. But smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Uh, we are doing what, Chef Greg? We're going to do some braided pork tenderloin. And this is a turkey alternative. Nice. It's all about Thanksgiving this week and next week. Next week will be the Thanksgiving extravaganza. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this, we are trying to pre prepare you uh, for Thanksgiving. Now, this is a great turkey alternative. I know a lot of folks out there, you know, uh, especially Courtney Schiffel, there's some folks out there Can't that are allergic turkey. to turkey. And they want to do, like, alternatives, not just against a turkey, but maybe you're not a ham kind of people. Right. Maybe you, you can don't incorporate like pork. this. I mean, this is a great weekday recipe because it cooks quitty, pretty quick. You, you know? can use it for all sorts of fun different ways. Absolutely. Maybe be your vegan. Maybe uh, definitely uh, can't do this if you're vegan. Okay, all right. No. But still watch if you're vegan. We really would appreciate it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in again. This is After Hours, brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. We will get to them. Jordan, yeah, you have you, you don't have any questions yet. Well, I did pick up. What on are the folks saying in the I comments section? I did pick section? up on the fact that Larry King is watching us right now. Hey, shout out Larry King. I don't know uh, if it's the Larry King, but I sure hope so. He's a huge name in the business. Got some suspenders. Absolutely, he's a hell of a barbecuer. You know. He All right, so pork tenderloins. These are about <laughs> a pound and you know a half to pound and three quarter. Very lean muscle. 
Fun uh, fact, they always come in packs of two. Typically, they yes. always come in packs Not of two. Not these. They were one in a pack. Are you serious? Absolutely. Okay. And these are Allegiance pork. So think of a, a premium tier okay. of pork. These uh, these pork tenderloins are fantastic. But you got to get rid of that silver skin. Right. Got to get rid of the silver Absolutely. skin. Absolutely. And sometimes up here by sort of like the head, if you will, <laughs> you got to get rid of some of that extra fat in there. Oh, yeah. You know, that's just, you know, you got to get rid of all the extra fat. Um, but uh, these tenderloins look absolutely amazing. They got some good color. Mm -hmm. Again, it's going to be a leaner cut of meat. For sure. Not a lot of uh, fat marbling, not a lot of fat to render out. And not a lot of flavor. Okay. Yet. Right. Because we're going to put the flavor on there. Right. So, again, get a nice sharp boning knife and uh, just kind of get in there and cut this off. You want to make sure that you don't gouge that meat. Make sure it's good and cold. Makes your life easier. Oh, that's a great chef tip right there. Much easier to cut it when it's cold, because again, you can see these been sitting out for a while. They're kind of moving around. Now, one of my ultimate go-to's has got to be a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin, Chef Greg. For sure. Uh, that was probably one of my very first cooks that I was just like, "Oh yeah, now I now I know what I'm doing." You know what I'm saying? That and the, gave and the me beauty great of confidence. And the beauty of larding or barding your meat—that's the traditional uh, name for Term? wrapping your pork with fat. Um, but you can see how nice and lean this is. It looks and you great. can cook it just like it is. Now, this is kind of hanging off, so we'll kind of just That's cut just it off because it's right? off. So, but we're going to braid these. And you say, why what? would I want to braid these? Well, I know, but tell the folks out there so why you would want to braid All them. my chef buddies out there are probably going to cringe when I do this because this course. is a prime muscle. Right. You really don't want to mess with it. You can also cut these into steaks. And have like little petite pork fillets. Those are, that's also amazing and very easy to do as well. But braiding these is just going to kind of open up a little bit more surface area. Right. We'll invite put a, that. We'll invite put more smoke flavor. Absolutely. A little bit more rub. More importantly, it looks cool. Yep. And so it cooks quicker. It does cook quicker. So all we're going to do is take our knife. We're going to start about an off. inch back, and we're just going to cut this pork tenderloin into three strips. Right. You want to make as even as possible, right, Chef Greg? Yep. And all we're going to do is just cut this wow. into three strips. I'll repeat. And this is great for your, you know, little... That looks about like uh, the pictures of Chef John I saw. Man, you saw more than I saw. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, that was all that was Man. left. There wasn't much wasn't much meat on the bone. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, I mean, horrible. he has hit the gym pretty hard. I know, but... Not uh, quite as hard as he hit that, that tree, though. Or that bear hit him. Oof. Mm. Poor guy. To him. But Jordan, we got some good questions out there. I see it in your yeah, eyes. We do have a good question from Braden Beezer. He wants hey, to hello, know, Braden. How are you, brother? He Little wants to know mustard. why Rectech over other brands. Wow. Well, this is only a 30 minute show. Absolutely. <laughs> but um, so there's a couple of different ways, but I always go back to when you purchase a grill from us, you're going to get the personal cell phone numbers of both of our owners mm -hmm. as well as our general manager. I've purchased a lot of things in my life, ladies and gentlemen. Not to toot my own horn, okay? Okay. I mean, you do have good credit. But I've purchased a few <laughs> things in my life, and not once have I ever gotten the personal cell phone number of owner and or general manager when mm -hmm. I purchased anything. Now, I did get my sales. You know, it's normal to kind of get your salesperson's, mm -hmm. you know, info, yada, yada. Yep. But you get the personal cell phone numbers of both of our owners as well it's as crazy. our general manager, and they stand behind the product. But they actually the answer the phone. Right. So it's not just a number to a voicemail box. Nope, nope. It's their you know. Phone. Yep, and 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 that's number one for me. Number two is warranty. Number three is build quality. Mm -hmm. Number four is material. Number five is customer service. You know, you're going to read any reviews. You're going to see that Rectech. Uh, you know, you're going to receive amazing customer service when you become a Rectech family member and join the Rectech Nation. Um, every per everybody that answers the phone upstairs actually owns the grill and uses it regularly so they're able to answer any and all questions that you do have shoot yeah and we provide uh world-class master chefs uh at your disposal Always. so you can call and ask chef greg any questions myself shoot me chef email john rest in peace mm -hmm. um we're we gonna have to have more so than who's just gonna the use his email now uh, I don't maybe know. we'll have to split the box oh, i'll get it on monday you get it on tuesday there's gonna be more chef john's out there there's gotta be there's gotta be another common chef john. name i did hear right. they're gonna make us change our emails you're gonna be jody well, my Flanagan. real name is john so i could just be i could just convert to chef you john. could you could yeah. well, i could have we, two can we knight you like a chef yeah right now all right do it i won't cut your ear there you go Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Chef John. Right That's there. all you got to do is be knighted. 
By no. a chef? We'll just to be a chef? Right, Where's Gordon go ahead, Ramsay at? Let's go ahead and braid this. Stop calling me Jacob Adkins. I'm, okay, Jacob. J-Bob Answer Atkins. the phone upstairs. <laughs> okay? I'm, I'm working. It's 5 o'clock. You know how Cheese this works. crackers. God, can't take that kid anywhere. I know, right? Let's go ahead and braid this. Jacob is do? a fine uh, customer service member here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. That's where we're filming from, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, for After Hours. Chef Greg That's is it. showing you how to braid a pork tenderloin. That's right. Pork tenderloins are great turkey alternatives this holiday season as well as for Christmas. That's it. Wow, you're done. I mean, it's not Cheese complicated. But you're able to obviously get more surface area, mm -hmm. so you can get more smoke flavor. Yep. Uh, you're able to get more surface area, you get more seasoning, yep. and it looks cool for sure. All right, so 375, about 35 to 40 minutes. Internal. Usually takes about an hour. Uh, less than that. Hour, oh, a whole one. Hour yeah. and 15 minutes. -ish. A whole one. Um, but in an internal temp of 140 degrees, what you're looking for? You go ahead and open that grill hey, for me. shoot, yeah. We're cooking on the RT590 right now. We're burning the Kingsford hickory pellets. It's hickory week, so uh, most of our recipes are going to be using the Kingsford hickory pellet, uh, especially those Thanks Grilling recipes. And if you guys haven't checked out um, Kingsford and Rectex YouTube channel, you were missing out. There are amazing, amazing video recipes out there, amazing resources mm -hmm. that we are putting out so you guys can knock your Thanksgiving out of the park, your Friendsgiving. Got to do it. Your, uh, your Thanks Grilling, you know, whatever you want to call it this holiday season. So you are like the brainchild of all things Asian around Asian. here. Asian. All right. So just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean you can't incorporate some some Asian flavors to no, your food. No, absolutely. That's, right. that's our number one go-to so is, is the Asian flavors. Well, we get tired of barbecue around here every right. now and then. So we're going to make a nice glaze for this pork. We're gonna grab some soy sauce, and these are things you have in the pantry. Okay, guys, get ready. Just write this down. This this will be something that you can throw together. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for wings, chicken breast, chicken thighs. Oh yeah, you can put this on beef, pork, yep. chicken. I mean, you can do anything. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Okay, a quarter couple, cup of soy sauce. About a couple tablespoons of sesame oil. Couple tablespoons so sesame about, oil. About two. About two. Tiger sauce. Delicious. Now people did want to make fun of me for tiger sauce with that rib recipe because Ben Lowe maybe like roar like a tiger then he made me <laughs> sound like a kitten it's terrible is that that stuff charlie sheen was pushing on us about 10 years ago no that's tiger blood oh yes and that's what's coursing through his veins okay that's right three tablespoons he can do a couple of tiger of, sauce a couple of grams and a half a second you could also do a couple uh shots of sriracha oh now you're talking okay now you're talking. two no. tablespoons of ginger paste wow and then a quarter cup of hoisin god smash that share button chef greg just showed you an amazing Amazing Asian rub. Gl I mean, marinade. This, this is glaze. good for it. You can marinate. You right. can dip uh, you can pot stickers in this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh man, it smells. It, I wish you guys could smell this. You know, the, the soy sauce. You're smelling the vinegar, the umami. There's a lot of umami in there. I tell you. All right, get on in here, Sherp. Let's check this temperature on this pork. We had this on for about 30 minutes. And again, the RT590 burning the Kingsford hickory pellets at 375 degrees Fahrenheit today. We're at 124, 125 oh degrees, yeah. which is the optimum time to start glazing. Oh because now yeah. we can start to get this, like, crusty. Jody, is it true that you once dated a girl in high school named Pork Tenderloin? Absolutely. That was her nickname, and she was on the cheerleading team. Uh-huh. And the football team gave her that name. Oh. Um, for uh, obvious reasons. Okay. But shout out to everybody watching right now. Make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Follow Chef Greg Muller on social media. Hey, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, follow me at Barbecue Dad Jody on social media. We really would appreciate it. really would help us out. Um, but it's, uh, oh, man, it smells absolutely amazing. Very Asian-y. A it's mixture good. of that hickory, Kingsford hickory pellet. Man, no I Additives, almost went to go drink my beer. No binders, no fillers, very little ash, high BTUs, amazing smoke output. It's flavoring that braided pork tenderloin that you season to perfection with that Jody's Asian persuasion and then our Asian sauce that you're going to glaze it with. Boy. I figured we'd just kind of, you know, make you a good dinner tonight. I wish I had like a Kirin Ichiban or a, uh, 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 a Chinese Sapporo. Asahi. Uh, I dig it. Yeah, I would definitely get a, a nice Asahi. I got some uh, pork beer. pork pot stickers in the back. We can always 
dip some pot stickers in there. Ooh, I like it. Maybe like you it. do that for dessert. Right. Jordan, Yo. I see it in your the whites of your eyes that you've got a question from somebody out there in the comment section. Guys, leave your comments, leave your questions down below. All of your hatred. Keyboard cowboys, get on us. Make mm -hmm. fun of us. Poke at us in the comment section. When trying to cook a whole turkey, what's better? Cooking it on the RT700 or the bullseye? So the turkey's going to cook delicious in either of those. So Shoot, yeah. Brine, spatchcock it, mm, brine it, mm. put that herb butter under the skin, a little freaky greek on the top. A little freaky Anything freaky. over 325 will give you a great crispy skin. Okay. On the bullseye, you could probably lower that down to about 300 because, again, smaller grill than the 700, but it's that direct fire. Right. More you, less surface area. Absolutely. You can always put a drip pan up underneath that uh, rack, maybe some turkey or chicken stock, to catch all those drippings for your gravy. Um, but a spatchcocked, you know, 18 to 20 pound bird, you're looking right about three, three and a half hours for uh, 325. Probably a little bit closer to two hours, 45 minutes to three hours on the bullseye. Because okay. again, more of a direct fire, a little bit drier heat, it'll cook it a little bit faster. Um, but spatchcock is the way to go. Right. And that was, my, that was my other question too: was which which do you prefer, the whole turkey or the spatchcock? Yeah, we always well, recommend spatchcock. Well, it is still a whole turkey, right, Jordan. It's just. Laid flat because right. we've right. cut the backbone out. Correct. But you already knew that as the expert of Twitter. I do. I do. But yeah. uh, when we're cooking on the bullseye, you know, I might even, you know, throw a half aluminum pan up underneath there with some delicious chicken stock, broth, mm -hmm. some veggies, some aromatics, herbs. Yep. Some, and then you can actually lay that uh, spatchcock bird on a bed of lemons or limes, mm. some kind Get of that citrus. citrus infusion. Right, absolutely. It'll God, heat up that so citrus. So smart. And on the inside of that dome, just circulate that deliciousness. You know, here, mix here it with a jacket. It's cold out here. Yeah. Yep. It's getting chilly. It, it is. It's chilly. Absolutely. A little crisp. Yeah, yeah. I can cut glass right now, boys. Whoa. <laughs> hey, girls. Hey, now. Hey, hey now. Whoa. Whoa. What, are we, uh, Whoa. what tip are we cooking at right now? We're at 375 in the RT700. We're burning right. that Kingsford hickory pellet. It's going to give us a great uh, flavor to that pork. Mm -hmm. And you saw that color. Yep. Beautiful mahogany amazing. color. And it was on there for right about 30 minutes. Um, glaze it up, maybe another five minutes, good to go. Fifteen. What's it saying fifteen for? Uh, we're in fifteen minutes. Yeah, but I put it on before we started, Jordan, because that's how this show goes, right. because we want to show the people <laughs> in about thirty minutes. Oh boy. I need an ice pack. They're so sore. Front to back, it's left to so right. <laughs> Jeez, Jordan. But smash that Come on. guys. Give us a like. Give us a follow. We're doing braided pork tenderloins, a great turkey alternative. I do it. But what are the turkey alternatives at your house? Because we cook a lot at my Absolutely. house for Thanksgiving. And it's not all about the bird. Because we cook turkey a good bit during the year. It's not just for Thanksgiving at my house. Um, but comment down below and let us know what your yep. alternative is f or your family favorite uh, recipe. George uh, Johnson, what you got? This is a good question from Al Bassett. He wants to Baby. know, uh, Hey, Al! How large of a turkey can go on the 340? So you can still fit a uh, 20 to 22-pound turkey. What's up, guys? How you hey doing? Hey, guys! Uh, on the 340, you definitely want to spatchcock it as well because your headspace there won't fit. But you can still fit a 14 to 16 pound uh, whole bird. But if you want anything larger than that, just spatchcock it. And again, it'll cook more even. You'll get more, you know, crispy skin everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's honestly the preferred method of cooking a turkey here at the worldwide headquarters of Rectech. And if I know Al, he might be camping with his beautiful wife and his 340. So, Al, it might behoove you guys just to get a, a whole turkey breast. Yeah. You know, uh, that's, uh, you know, it'll isolate just, it'll just be white meat. You know, that's a great alternative if, if you don't like dark meat. If you don't want to buy a whole turkey and cook a whole turkey and go through all of that, you know, if you don't have a lot of people to feed, a whole turkey breast is a great alternative. And we got some great videos out mm -hmm. there uh, cooking that whole turkey breast. We did too. a Cajun one on Tuesday. Right. It was delicious. I mean, that andouille gravy with yeah. that, whoo, child really please. Good. Great picture. That turned out great pictures as well. As Matacosta would say, say bon, say bon, yep. say bon. Yep. But Jordan, you got any other good questions out there? Please facilitate us. Uh, Bill Ortiz says, if he already has a bullseye, does it make sense to get a 340? Shoot you. Or go with the 590? Well, if you're on the fence, I always say go bigger. Yeah. There's no regrets when you go bigger. That's with one point. exception. The, the exception is if you live your lifestyle on the road, you have an RV or a camper, and you are traveling this glorious planet that we call Earth. At that point, then an RT340 is going to be perfect for you. Throw it in the uh, forward storage or the back of your truck, and you will have that grill with you for every absolutely, meal. Absolutely, absolutely. 24 inches tall. Absolutely. If you're looking for a grill at the house, I would go with the 590. More headspace, more room. You're going to find yourself cooking on it. And that bullseye is a great complement to that. So that's the only exception I would say go with the 340 if it's a small family or if you're on the road. Yeah. 
Yep, and then, uh, you know, speaking on that, you know, we're cooking on the RT590 tonight, mm -hmm. 592 square inches of cooking surface, 30-pound hopper. It's got the PID controller with the Wi-Fi capability. What does that mean to you guys? Well, PID is the gold standard when it comes to temperature control. Breweries, bakeries, pharmaceutical companies, they all use the PID algorithm when maintaining the temperature. And all of those companies, they have unlimited amount of resources. Mm -hmm. And if you know there was anything out there better, they would definitely be using it. And the PID is the gold standard. That's why we use it. That's why it holds the temperature stronger and uh, more consistent than the competition. We love our competition. We love beating them each and every week. And yeah. it, the reason it why we're beating old. them beca is because of that PID controller. And again, Wi-Fi capability. You can turn the grill up, down, on, or off from anywhere in the world using your Rec Tech app, available at the Google Play or Apple App Store. Make sure you download that bad boy. It is a ma an amazing resource. Um, but again, stainless steel inside and out. Stainless steel fire pot that will never fail on you. An 8-gauge stainless steel fire pot. Chef Greg mm -hmm. physically has run over it um, with a uh, cement steamroller. Uh, steam well, the coolest thing. part about that, it popped up in my time hop. I literally watched that video back and forth, back and forth. I just couldn't get over it. Right. That was like the greatest day ever when uh, Sean Carnes Absolutely. let me re-compact and grade the lower parking lot. Like, non-productive for Rectech that day. Extremely yeah. productive for Chef Greg that day. But again, 8-gauge stainless steel par fire pot that will not fail on you. Stainless steel inside and out ceramic ignition system. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You won't be changing out that igniter rod like you will the competition's metal igniter rod. 300,000 cycles. What's That's a like day? turning a roll off and on for like 30 years. 30, 300 years. It's crazy. 300 years. Once a day, on and off. For 300 years, it will last. Um, and again, it's the gold standard when it comes to starting your fire. Stainless steel inside and out, four-year warranty, bumper to bumper. You get that Rec Tech customer service that comes with it. You mm -hmm. get Chef Greg, you get myself. You get, well, you got Chef John, rest in peace. <sighs> uh, gosh. You can have what's left of him. Right. <laughs> Looks I mean. like that beef tenderloin right there, I tell you. Pork. Pork, sorry. Pork Mick. tenderloin. We ate beef earlier. We did. That, dude, that filet. But get on in there, Sherp. Look at that gorgeousness. The lights don't do it Look justice. Look at the color I there. Mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Glistening. I mean, like, like a, a shine bright like a diamond. Where's Rihanna at? Jesus Let's go ahead and slice this up. Oh, yeah. Get on in there, Sherp. It looks nice and moist Again, from you can here. See Look at the juices. That Kingsford hickory pellet gave it a good amount of smoke. And the beauty of seasoning wow. it. Look. See that braid? I've got flavor on the inside Smash now. Smash that share button, ladies and gentlemen. We're having an amazing after hours episode. Three meats. Look at that. Jordan, you got a good question. They're just absolutely in love with this braided pork tenderloin. They're saying it's yummy, a little different. yum, yum. A little different. Yummy, yum, yum. Hey, guys, if you want this recipe and all of our other recipes, make sure you go to rectech.com, R E C T Q.com forward slash lunch break fill out all of the information check all the boxes that way you can receive this recipe right in your inbox and if you want to sign up for the newsletter and find out everything about rectech go to rectech.com and scroll down to the bottom of any home page mm. put your email in where it says sign up for the newsletter and you can get our rectech newsletter which includes you know behind the scenes access uh, letting you know when stuff's going on sale including back black friday and um ray Carnes himself wanted me to remind you guys if you were on the fence by now shipping companies are going to have a shit storm coming up <laughs> this christmas i promise you do not let the shipping company dictate whether or not you have your gifts at christmas time buy now hide it i promise you buy now because it's gonna be a shit show i do have to disagree with you no i'm don't you. don't hide it Open the box, put it <coughs> together, Excuse get me. cooking. Save the box. They're going to screw up. Wrap the box. Wrap it. I'm telling you Open guys. Open the box under for Christmas, but start cooking buy now. now. Buy now. Buy now. Buy now for Christmas. Why? So you can get it for Christmas. Buy now, okay? You need to do that. I promise you guys, sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter because you want to know about all the deals. Look at that. You well, might even get shipping timeline is. updates. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, you need to buy now for Christmas because the shipping companies are already overwhelmed. COVID, the COVID crisis is going to overwhelm them even more, as well as the holiday season. And a lot of them so, are unionized workers, and right? they get their time off whether yeah. we like it or not. So I like requesting time off around the holidays, and so do those folks. Um, so there's going to be less of them working. You know, So, man, just go ahead and prepare for it now. Um, really save yourself a headache. But, Chef Greg, I can't say 
enough about how Newsletter. beautiful this looks. Again, you braided those pork tenderloins. You cooked them uh, in the RT590 using that Kingsford hickory pellet burning <laughs> 375 mm. degrees. Um, yes, Jordan. I'm sorry. One of the comments made me chuckle. Okay, good. I like Brad it. Brad Sinal said uh, when you were talking about the uh, the storm. Yeah, it's going to be a storm. To it's going to be absolutely uh, amazing. He put, and I quote, poop emoji, tornado emoji. I'm telling you, it's going <laughs> to I be I mean, crazy. you've seen Sharknado. Yeah. Anything can happen. Y'all, it's 2020. Hashtag anything can happen. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> but Sharknado is still one of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All five of them. 800 episodes. But you're going to... I actually absolutely. Ate now, it. how long would we let this rest, Chef Greg? Now, smaller muscle, five, ten minutes, you're good to go. Okay. What would we serve this with? Ooh, right now, maybe like a nice Asian chilled buckwheat noodle salad you because we made one back. today in the back. Um, jasmine rice pilaf. Oh, yeah. You could also make some sticky rice cakes. Okay. Um, what about some green beans and mashed potatoes? Now, if you stir fried those green beans with some ginger and uh, Thai chili oil, absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. I like it. But so again, this you is a great turkey name. alternative. Stovetop stuffing, yeah. Now, if you want to make it more holiday festive flavor, maybe do a little freaking Greek, a little heifer dust on the top, and you could serve it along with your poultry or gravy. It'd be delicious. Right. Oh, man, I cannot wait to dig into this. That I know that Asian sauce, people are going to be asking about it, Chef Greg. I mean, all um, you got to do is go to rectech.com slash lunch break, and we'll send you the, the recipe. Here's Cheers, to buddy. you guys. Rest in peace, Chef John. <laughs> mm. 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 What are we tasting, folks? The ginger. Right, immediately. Now, I'm getting some of that fermented savoriness. Fermented soy product right mm -hmm. there with that hoisin. Mm. Saltiness. Sweetness. S sweetness. A little back end heat, but it goes away very, very, very quickly. Some Moist. Good, some good smoke. The texture of the meat's amazing. Mm. The moisture is amazing. Succulent. Absolutely. Mm. You knocked it out of the park again. Again, this is easy, guys. Mm -hmm. Sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of any home page. Sign up for this recipe. Go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Fill out all the info. Check all the boxes. You know how we like to check those boxes. Click, click, click. Um, but put your favorite Thanksgiving alternatives in the comment section down below. I know mine has got to be like a lobster or a king crab, you know, or a seafoody, you know, shrimpy mm. uh, direction. Um, you know, oysters. Maybe like a king crab deviled egg. That yeah, maybe like a king <laughs> crab deviled egg. Um, but like a uh, lobster mac and cheese Ooh. would be great. Um, that that's not a normal thing to cook. For sure. If you haven't tried oyster dressing, you got to try or some seafood oyster dressing. dressing. You know, I saw a great recipe for seafood dressing out there the other day. Uh, we need to try that. Man, this is just With stu shrimp, crab, stu oysters. Stupid delicious. Uh, I think scallops were in it as well. Mm. It was just like overloaded with mm -hmm. all kinds of crazy seafood. Essentially cornbread and seafood and bacon. Mm. Sounds mm. good to me. But smash that share Just button, guys. Hashtag get on in there, Sherp. Show those folks how delicious that is. Look at that smoke ring. Again, we used the Kingsford hickory pellets today. Gave it that bold flavor. Um, imparted a great amount of smoke. Delicious smoke ring. Um, we used the RT590 tonight. Killed it. 375 degrees for about 30, 40 minutes yep. uh, until it reached an internal temperature of 140 degrees. That's yep. what we were looking for. Um, you, uh, now, Chef Greg, could you do this the night before and um, uh, season it? You could most certainly do this the night before. Um, put it in the grill when you got back from work, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's All right, a let's great brush idea. these ones down. Get on in here, Sherp. Show him, show him brushing them things. Uh, got Jordan, you got a good question out there. I see it in your eyes. Man, they're just listing their favorite alternatives, saying how delicious this braided pork tenderloin looks. My God. They're just so excited for... Uh, all the dishes they're going to yeah, see for the rest more. of the week and excited for Black Friday because you never know what Rec Tech could be Man, sending out in those I'm uh, telling newsletters. You, I'd go ahead and order now. I'm telling you, order now. Order now, everybody. And and if you order later, call me and let me know how that works out for you. Yeah. And leave that hatred in the comment section down below. Jordan, um, any wrestling fans out there? I'm sure there are, <laughs> considering how it's one of the most watched shows every week. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the uh, Facebook crowd. They might not be. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for that tuning Twitter in and crowd out, out there about you know the. That's right. 
Now, Chef Greg and myself, we both have personal pages, and we also have business pages. So make sure you go out there and follow Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, uh, Barbecue Dad Jody as well. Uh, Chef Greg is Chef Greg Muller out there. Make sure you follow those pages. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel, myself as well. So please, make sure you follow us on those. Uh, we Your really first would. YouTube video is epic. The first one has got the most views. It's a great story <laughs> behind it, though. <laughs> but I've got a couple of videos now. So you guys go follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a couple of videos. That beef rib one's really good. I've scraped that one together. Thank you, Country Club, for doing that. No, the beef rib one's good. Yeah, no, no. But the first video. Yeah, yeah. She's classic. not stopping. Nope, she's, she's not, not stopping. stopping. That was so funny. Yeah. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah. just jump over to Barbecue Jad, Jody right. Flanagan. You have to subscribe. You have to like that video. And maybe let's, let, let's and say then there's a couple of recipe videos that you guys right, are going to really about, learn something how from. About but do, how about we do a contest? They okay. got a comment. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag. All right, perfect. Yeah. She's yeah. not going to stop. That's right. On that video. Yes. So, all right. So that's that'll be our giveaway today. Oh, we're doing a giveaway? We're doing a giveaway. I like oh giveaways. All right. So, um, you know, in memory of Chef John, mm -hmm. you know, he would want us to go big or go home. Okay. You know? So what you got to do before you, so you can win, you got to like my YouTube page. Right. You got to like Jody's. Subscribe to our YouTube pages. But then on that video, she ain't going to stop. Um, she's not stopping my video, my first video from like five years ago. That was so funny. You got to put, just put in the comment section, hashtag she's not stopping. Nope. And I will make sure that each one of you will go in a little hat and we'll pull a little name and no, uh, we'll handle this one, Jordan. We'll handle it. We'll handle okay. this one. You what are they going to the win, though? They've got to live in the U.S. What are they going to win? Lower 48. Yep. Uh, but you're going to win a bullseye. An what? RTB 380 bullseye. Whoa. This That's girl right, right here. away a bullseye Whoa. tonight this for after hours. This stainless Absolutely. steel bullseye. Absolutely. All Weekday you workhorse. Do. Gosh. And then, again, we're going to make sure that you guys have subscribed to Chef Greg and Jody's YouTube channel. And uh, you have to put hashtag she's not stopping. She's not stopping. In the comments of my ben first video. Ben knows that video. story, too. There he is. <laughs> no, yeah. we're not. We're not. No, no, no. We're not telling. The, we'll tell the justice story next week. You guys got to watch. You got to watch the first. video. You, you got to watch, watch the video. video. Um, so but, funny. But again, we're giving away an RTB 380 tonight. <laughs> we're having a great time for after hours. What is after hours? That's where we cook a meal from start to finish, front to back, left to right, beginning to end. So you guys know how to do it by the end of the show. And we might cut up a little bit. And a that's lot, okay. That's bit. how we live the Rec Tech lifestyle. And then we give away stuff every, every now and then. We have rest in peace moments. Thirty seconds of silence for people. Respectfully. 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 Very respectfully. Very respectfully. There's been so much respect shown to him. It's good. Absolutely. It's super Absolutely. Good. But we've had a great time. Braided pork tenderloin was on the menu tonight. If you want this recipe, go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Fill out all the info. Check all the boxes. Uh, smash all the, uh, the shares. I don't know. You know, the, you know the routine. Right, right, right. Smash the share <laughs> button. Um, leave any questions or comments or hatred in the comment section down below. We love answering or just reading or anything. Uh, I'm Jody at Rectech.com. He is Chef Greg at Rectech.com. If you have anything, email us. Please follow us on all social media. Smash that share button. Chef Greg, you got anything for anybody? Hashtag she's not stopping. She's not stopping. <laughs> But it's time Find for out. us to Find out for Christmas. It's time for us to eat some of this pork. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's after hours. And you know how it is. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the Rector. Do, do, do. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Do, do, Mac do. Reeves, we appreciate you, buddy. Do, do, Alec do. Wagner, what up? Rest in peace, Chef Robert John. Jordan, what's up, my Come man? Come get Bart it. Smith. To the sun stuff. Check.